Hello. All right, for this video, I'm gonna show you. I made a strip card, or card front, a layer. I just used the double stick, um, the double-sided sticky sheets, and adhered it onto just junk paper. Um, <clears throat> and then I just adhered my strips on. So, and then people have been asking me, all right, so we keep seeing the same thing over and over again. So you just put that on and you put a, a word on the front. So what else can we do? So I wanna show you this idea. So I, I cut out a frame and I want to lay it on here and I'm gonna color just this section. So let's do that. And I've chosen my colors from my color palette here. So I pulled out the green and I pulled out the blue and I pulled out the yellow, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color this flower blue. I think that'll be pretty. Let me just do a quick, simple job coloring. I'm not really worried if it goes out of the lines because I'm gonna cut it. So the main thing is you just wanna get it colored in. And when we're creating, it's nice because we have the right to choose whatever colors you want to use. You don't have to be traditional. You don't have to do the regular, normal colors that everybody else does. We get to choose our own colors. <clears throat> and this is something that I've always insisted on is making coloring items in that match my background because then they all go together. I'm just using this scribbling technique, just going in circles, 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 and just scribble coloring. I love to color flowers in blue. I think that's such a pretty color for a flower. pretty good and then let's you do this little bumblebee and this little stem and I don't think much of that's going to show if any but I figure I may as well color it just in case you never know it may show that rhymes. You never know. It may show. Alrighty. And then the center can be yellow. Alrighty. Nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make a decision on where do we want this to go. So I think I want it right here. So that'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and let's squirt some blue around the edges of this frame. And then we can put it on the picture of the flower. Oh my goodness. 
butler just was up here a moment ago and whoops and he's got fur everywhere now all righty <laughs> he's got it a little bit everywhere let's make sure we got all those oh come on get off of my finger there spread out that glue a little bit all righty now we can I want it to go about here. Yep, up in just a little bit there. Alrighty, then we can press that down. Turn that over. Alright, now I can put my crayons back and pull out my scissors because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut around this frame and I could have pulled out my die set which cut this frame out that would have been easier but I figure ah, what the hey let's just go for it what if you don't have die cuts how do you do it and I'm trying to remember that because some don't have die cuts and there's a lot of times when I don't have the die cut that I want and I do stuff like this and I've been stamping for years literally since 1994 93 94 so it's been quite a long time. So I've been able to, little by little, work up with my, my supplies. Now look at that on there. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And that just draws all the colors in that I wanted to pull into the middle. And it allows me to frame an image with it. So now let's put this on a card. Let's see. be pretty. Did I cut that small enough? Yes, I did. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Check it out. Let me trim this in a little bit more so that I can leave it on this card with this border. That'll be pretty. So I'm going to cut down one more strip and then that'll give me a strip that I can add on the inside on this too. So, alright. Let's see it this way. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty, I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. My mom's letter that she sent to me and I read it. And now I'm using it on a card. All right, now. I think I'm going to 3D this up though. I can see one little part that's sticking out, so I want to trim that down a little wee bit more. There, that's better. All right, so we want some 3D foam, which is right here. And I need my purple scissors. tool which I love there all right put that away that just looks so pretty and then lay it down make sure it's straight press it down all righty I like that that's pretty so what do you think of that that's something a little bit different than what we've been doing. And I'm gonna, I want this orange to be up here so that way it's not lined up. I don't want it to be lined up. I want it for visually, I want it to pop. 
pop up here now because that orange is making you look down at it. I want you to look up again. So we're going to do this and we're going to put this right here. Alrighty, so let's do this. up which it is and that is perfect and is this coming off nope okay that is down good all right so there so then we could just choose a word or a verse and let's see what I've got here oops I might need those all right by small and simple things are great things brought to pass. That's pretty. I kind of like that. Let's put that in there. Why not? That's actually perfect for a flower because a little seed, a small and simple thing, and it turns into a great thing, a beautiful masterpiece of a gorgeous flower. Gotta love it. All righty. there we go that's pretty all right so our masterpiece is complete what do you think of that isn't that pretty a different idea for you to use those strip background border and the, these borders are I mean these backgrounds are the perfect things to use up lots of those scraps lots of those strips but then to enhance the card then go ahead and cut out a frame and frame up a flower or an image or something even another decorative paper that would be pretty there you go so i hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try and until we meet again happy crafting bye bye